Hello everyone, so happy you're joining me back on my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I turn these thrift store jeans, they're super oversized and baggy, into the super in trend of Goldie jeans with the slanted zipper closure. So stay tuned. Please, if you haven't done so already, subscribe, hit the like button if you like what you see, and I hope you get some amazing content and ideas from today's video. So if you can already see, I have my jeans in the sewing machine already, and I kind of give you an up-close view. I literally cut off the entire zipper closure, and I, on one side, so I cut off the zipper closure with the button, so that part, and I'm literally taking that piece and laying it diagonal on the other side, or on that side of the denim, and I'm gonna sew it down. So you can see the button there, I'm kinda taking off excess string, but I, so I kind of went ahead and basted it down already, and I'm just gonna go in and actually secure that side of the zipper. So on some of the other DIY videos that I watched, they took off the entire zipper, or rather they took off the entire button and they reattached it either using like super glue or some sort of extra strength glue and or they just bought a whole new button and attached that again. So I thought, well, I will just remove the entire button and the whole piece attached to the button and the zipper and then use that to slant and also it'll still be attached to the denim so I don't have to do extra work. We'll see how that goes. Right now I'm just kind of going and getting the piece attached. I'm going super, super slow as you can see. This is just a regular sewing machine, so I don't think it's really necessarily meant for denim. So I'm just going right along the metal zipper piece, so to the far right against the metal zipper, and just adhering that to, um, to the opposite side of the denim. So now you can see it is on there attached. Now I'm going to go in and it zips up just fine and then I can actually um, close the button there. Now I'm going to go in and do the opposite side. So kind of where that opening is, I'm going to actually lay that down. So it is almost like doubly attached to that piece of denim to the other side of the jeans. So same thing, I'm going to kind of start from the top and then work my way down slowly. I want it to be super secure because of course this is what I'm gonna rely on to stay in place and keep the zipper functional and I just don't want it to kind of come loose or have any holes or any pieces that aren't attached fully. So that's kind of why I'm going back in and re reinforcing that zipper panel, I guess we'll call it. So again, I am just going very, very slow. I am not the best um, sewer, mind you. Oh, I think I got a jam too. So again, bear with me here. Once I wiggle this out, literally had to kind of take out my jam and <laughs> start over, I think, um, off camera. I went in and had to undo my bobbin. Oh, actually, never mind, it's empty. So I had to refill the bobbin, and this is where I'm at. So I attached the piece, and you can tell here where I literally just cut off the part of that zipper that was over there and attached it diagonally to the front of the pants. And it works just fine. It is kind of pulling. Um, a little bit in the front area. I went in and kind of um, attached it so it wouldn't pull in odd ways, but you can notice the top waistband is still a little bit loose. 
so I wanted it to I wanted them to fit perfectly so I probably will go in and make a little a few little tweaks and just so the waistband fits me to a T and I'm hoping that will kind of address any of the baggier areas I'm also debating on whether or not I want to put like a snap where that extra piece kind of meets the main side of the, the band there. So it kind of comes in at that, that diagonal angle, so we'll see. But this is going to require me to remove the belt loop, so I'm just taking my seam rippers. I'm going to take off the belt loops on each side of the middle seam in the back, so the one that goes directly down the back of the pants in between the back pockets, the, the two belt loops that I guess are on either side of that. I removed one, so not too bad. It's actually quite easy, or a lot easier than I thought it would be. Now I'm going to pinch the denim together and kind of get an idea of where I want it to go in. I know there's a lot of DIY videos that go in and like actually measure it and have the ruler and measuring tape, so I'm not quite there yet. I literally just eyeball it and then kind of go down, see how it's gonna lay. So I just pinched together the waistband and I'm gonna take it down to that first, um, so there's a seam where the waistband is and then right underneath there, that first seam. And then I'm gonna reattach the belt loop there. So hopefully it will, you won't even be able to tell where I did the alteration. Hopefully if all goes well. And I'm just gonna do the same thing to the other side. Take off the belt loop kind of eyeball how much I want to take in the denim and I'll retry it on and just make sure that that's enough enough adjusting and tailoring altering to make sure that they fit my my shape I have a very small waist and then um, kind of everywhere else much curvier so I always have a challenge with pants fitting my waist so I usually have to go up a size meaning I'll buy pants to where it fits my thigh area and then I will have to either get them altered around my waist or wear a belt or etc so if you have any good pants that kind of run smaller in the waist, please tag them below or um, leave me a comment below. I would greatly appreciate it. I always joke around that I have like two different size Barbies on one body. But, so I have both uh, belt loops off as you can see. Now I'm gonna go in and kind of pin down where I visually imagine them to be taking in or to have to be uh, taken in. I'm just using just pins at the moment. Go through, pin down one side, and then make sure that it's even on the opposite side. I'm going to kind of measure the two, like once I both have them pinned down. Again, there's a lot more, there's a more intricate way that you can do this. So you don't eyeball it and it's exactly perfect, but Again, I just kind of wanted to get it done, um, so I pinned it down on that side. I'm pretty happy with it. I just want to make sure that the seams line up, so the belt loop, or the, um, or the waistband rather, connects. Again, I want it to be even, so I'm kind of just readjusting it to where that side sits flush. And actually, it won't matter too much because I am going to reattach the belt loop over the top of it, but just, I guess, for my own peace of mind, I want to make sure that it is even and kind of matches up and is somewhat symmetrical. So, now I have both sides kind of pinned down. Okay, so I have both of them pinned down right now, and I'm just kind of going back in, making sure that they measure up, look even, and I'm going to 
sew them together and hope for the best. So I ended up having to sew the belt loops um, back on. I used the sewing machine to do the alteration of the waistband and then I sewed the belt loops back on by hand. But this is the end result, guys. So I paired it with a leopard corset and I'm super happy with them. Like I love the fit. They still have that like nice baggy look. The zipper detailing is everything to me. And again, I kind of incorporated my off-white super extra mini extra crop denim jacket and then I also paired it with kind of more of a camel colored cape you can see the back it came together nicely so I just again sewed the belt loops back on by hand I'll just have to be I don't think I'll be wearing a belt with these because I do want to show with that front closure detailing so I should be fine but again this is what I came up with so if you like what you see please hit the subscribe button like button notification bell so you don't miss out on any other thrift haul plant haul styling moments and find joy in everything around you